are starting to get a better sense of who the accused is. Uh, she was a longtime nurse, seemed to be proud of her work, which made today's arrest all the more shocking to those that knew her. Beth seemed to be a normal everyday person. She would come down, walk her dog, and the dog would come up and we'd talk. People at this Woodstock apartment building are struggling to process the news. The woman they called Beth was charged today with eight counts of first degree murder. Confused, really, and just a little bit worried. Elizabeth Tracy May Wetlaufer was registered as a nurse in 1995. Over the last decade, she's worked at nursing and retirement homes across southwest Ontario, from Brantford to London. She most recently secured a steady job with Crescent Care Nursing and Retirement Homes in Woodstock. She seemed to be very thrilled about it. Um, just recently, the last couple months, she said she got more of a permanent position at a job. Seven of the alleged victims died at that facility. The eighth died at a facility in London. On Wetlaufer's Facebook profile, there are posts about nursing, politics, and last September, one declaring her 365 days clean and sober. Police confirm the account belongs to Wetlaufer at today's announcement. They would not comment on a possible motive, but criminologists have their theories. We call healthcare killers um, angel of death killers. This expert says healthcare killers are often driven by similar motivations. Some have suggested they have what's known as Mother Teresa syndrome, which is a subvariant of narcissistic personality disorder, whereby they develop some delusion of playing God and acting mercifully. Police did not say if Wetlaufer has undergone a psychiatric assessment, but they did note that her arrest is the largest multiple murder charge that the province has seen in more than 10 years.